We are at Ferndale High School in Randburg, north of Johannesburg, where we've just concluded the memorial service of the late Gilebukhile Mulopiane, who died um, following an epileptic seizure that resulted in him jumping off the second floor of the school corridor. What you're seeing now is a monument that uh, learners in the school have um, set up here. Uh, we can see a desk that we will assume was his desk, as well as some flowers and some notes and candles that the learners have left behind here. So at the memorial service, um, we heard some speeches coming from a teacher that uh, taught him for a few years, um, just telling us about the relationship that they had and the kind of learner that he was. Um, we've heard that he was quite a diligent learner, um, quite good as well with you know his academics, um, having good grades uh, throughout his years here at the school. We also heard um, MEC, Gauteng Education MEC, Banyazali Sufi, giving a very touching tribute, again calling out for any assistance from you know religious um, um, groups as well as traditional healers to come together and pray and heal um, over the, the, the learners here in Gauteng. We know that so far 13 learners have died since the beginning of the academic year in January and four teachers have died um, since the beginning of the academic year. So Banyanza Lesufi did mention how exhausted he is and how drained he is having to you know attend quite a lot of memorials and funerals of young people as opposed to you know um, celebratory um, achievements of them, you know, achieving whatever it is here at the school, you know, victorious moments for, for learners. Um, he's not seeing a lot of that. He, instead, he is seeing quite a lot of deaths um, um, among the learners here in the Gauteng area. We also heard um, the family telling us that they will be burying Gilebukhile tomorrow in Harangua.